Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and another one in which I'm looking at this book, Thousand and One Albums You Must Hear Before You Die and I asked the question with regard to an album, does it belong in that book? What I'm holding here is The Velvet Underground and The Velvet Underground by The Velvet Underground, an album from 1969. But what you might have noticed in the title of this uh, video, it says the Closet Mix, the so-called Lou Reed's Closet Mix, and that is the mix that I'm reviewing today. And before I get into the record itself, it might be interesting to tell you something about this Closet Mix, because to me, it changes the album. When you go to Discogs and you take a look at the page of this pressing, this is the second British pressing, it states there are two different mixes. One by Val Valentin, and one by Lou Reed. MGM engineer Val Valentin made a clean, bright, evenly balanced mix, mix, but Lou Reed made a version with his vocals louder, and that is this one. Well, that is interesting because if you read it the way it's written, it's almost like Val Valentin made the perfect mix and Lou Reed's ego decided to make a different mix. But then if you take a look, look at this book by Howard Sons, Notes from the Velvet Underground, The Life of Lou Reed, you get a different story. And, that must be said, Howard Sons is not very complimentary uh, with regard to Lou Reed in the biography. So it's not a real pro-Lou Reed biography, but it tells the following story. MGM, at, in those days, was much more a music factory. And what happened, Lou Reed was writing some very intimate songs in those days. He was trying to kick off of drugs, he was clean, and that is a very fragile situation. If anyone um, has any experience with drugs or, or artists who have, you might know a lot of demons come to haunt you. You are faced with your own with emotions you'd rather not have, with thoughts you'd rather not have, and Lou Reed works these emotions out in these songs, and he gets very intimate. As a matter of fact, I don't think he has been more intimate in his career than on this album. So what does he do? He goes in the studio and he moves the mic very close and he sings very soft. Now, that is a sense of intimacy. Like he is whispering his most sincere thoughts to you. But Val Valentin thought, well, you sing soft, you get soft in the mix, buddy. <laughs> and it's... Uh, a rather typical mix and they don't look into it more detailed but Lou Reed thought no 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 I sing softer I sing more intimate so you have to put it up in the mix now I've listened to that mix and it's a very it's a, it's an okay mix and it makes for a good album a very good album but when I got this final pressing the second British pressing which has the mix Lou Reed sent to the UK the Lou Reed mix the closet mix it is mind blowing it is the difference between listening and enjoying and being, well, uh, brought to tears. I, I, I was really emotional because this album and the beauty that's on there really comes through in this Lou Reed closet mix. Let's take a look at the songs here. It opens with Candy Says, and Candy Says is a song on this pressing on this version. Um, later on, Lou Reed has sung it live, but in this album, Doug Yule sung this song, and it is mesmerizing. The quality of Lou Reed's writing is, well, I'd almost say beyond imaginable. The way he is describing a, char uh, describing a character, and the inner struggles, and the way she looks at herself, and it is of so much emotion, so much fragility, and so much nuance and understanding and it is written down in such a beautiful direct way but with so much things going on it reminds me of of well uh, Lou Reed's heroes like Jack Kerouac and um, um, ah, uh, William Burroughs as a matter of fact on that song you can hear that Lou Reed had a desire to become one of the great American novelists and you hear a great potential novel writer writing poetry and th th I mean the combination of those lyrics with these beautiful this beautiful chord development 
very interesting chord development with the most beautiful melodic vocal line. I mean, this album makes clear to me that Lou Reed, on his best, was up at the level of people like Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen at their best. He is among the great American songwriters. And that is what this album makes clear. I mean, the next song, What Goes On, it's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous, especially with the intimacy of the voice. And some kind of love, it's, it's, there's a certain groove, but he never dares to go all the way, uh, but keeps it very intimate, which is beautiful. Then, Pale Blue Eyes. Another, another novel of a song. I mean, it's incredible. It's deeply personal. He is confronting. He's actually. Um, he's outing someone. It's 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 he's doing something nasty in the song. He's, he's outing uh, someone. He's he's he, out of uh, revenge, out of jealousy. The, the, there is there are so many nasty emotions going on. I mean, Lou Reed on this album realizes that he has a dark side, but the dark side comes out of very deep human emotions and very deep human desires and it's pale blue eyes it's beautiful it's a love song and it's a revenge song in a certain way it's so good and then he ends out the first time with jesus an, a non-religious man who's crying out for help from jesus it, 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 it works it works incredibly well side two i'm beginning to see the light very good song nice groove i'm set free that's the story of my life uh, the murder mystery after hours this is such a great album. I mean, this is the first album uh, the Velvet Underground did without John Gale. Y y there is not the avant-garde of the other albums, which, yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I love John Gale and I love the other two uh, Velvet Underground uh, records. But do I miss him here? No, no. This is just a beautiful new record in its own right. As a matter of fact, Lou Reed establishes in incredible heights and i love this album so question does it belong in this book oh yeah definitely definitely and it's an, a true gem of a record now do you agree do you disagree leave a comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye